Welcome to this AFLW scenario. Lachlan, 2612 Sports Channel here. And for this one, we're going to be taking a look at what would happen if every AFL women's player returned to their original club or the team they went for growing up. Look at the, let's take a look at the teams. Crows AFLW. No, they don't, don't seem to have many changes on this side. They still got the players that were still there. And drafted by the team. But the criminal part was, was this team is young Nicky Gore's still a 60 rated player. And she's playing much better than a 60 rated. What were, what were the technicians thinking? Brisbane Lions. They've got some changes coming onto the team. They got Sam Burgo back on the team. Jamie Stanton returns. Caitlin Ashmore returns. Sabrina Frederick is back at Brisbane. Taylor Harris back at the club. Kate McCarthy's aligned again. Brittany Gibson's aligned again. Talia Randall is a Brisbane line again. I think this is just about like a 2017 reunion going on at Brisbane. With this side they've got. Carlton. Well... They brought they bring back the Hosking sisters who later got who later went to Richmond. Tilly Lucas Rudd becomes a blow again. Brianna Davies back at Carlton. Alison Downey. In this one she's never left. Carlton. Kate Gillespie Jones is a blow again. Danielle Harmon's a blow again. This is... And Nat Exxon's already back at the club. Collingwood! Just about the best Victoria team on the list! They got back... Well, although they've lost Brianna Davey, but they've brought back the... And uh, Jamie Lambert. They brought back Alicia Reaver, Jasmine Garner, Jess Duffin, Mo Hope, Christina Bernardi, Sarah Dargan, Sarah Darcy... And they also brought Sophie Marlon back to Collingwood. When I spoke to her the other day on Instagram, she said that she's a, she told me that she's a Collingwood fan. And she remembered the 20, 2010 win over St Kilda. S is Fremantle. And after that, let's go to the other let's go to the Dockers. They brought back Dana Hocker. Brianna Green's a Docker again. Paris Laurie's back at the Dockers. Courtney Gart, the guard, is back at Freo. This is just about the best team in Western Australia. Geelong. Well, they lost some reliable veterans, but they've got a, still got a young team. Millie Brown's back playing AFLW for this scenario. And she'll get to play alongside some new cats. Like Georgie Pospaskis. Hang on a minute. Better give Georgie Pospaskis, Pospaskis better ratings at the Cats. I mean, she's only a 69 rated still. Come on, lift your game. I mean, Pospaskis is only a, is a young, young player. She deserves better than a 69 rating. Gold Coast Suns. 
But I don't see many changes to this side. I reckon the side pro would pretty much struggle. GWS, they have got some got some players into their club. They got Emma Swatson back at the club after after spending time at West Coast. Matty Boyd and Phoebe McWilliams are giants again. Renee Fourth and Courtney Gummer back at GWS. Melbourne. Melbourne have got some players back. They brought back Jasmine Grayson, Rocky Cranston, Cat Phillips, Harriet Cordner. And they brought back a few. Pepper Randall's back at Melbourne as well. She was originally a demon before she was traded to Greater Western Sydney in return for Ashley Guest. Did turn out to be a good deal for the Demons. It was a good deal for the Giants. North Melbourne. Oh my god, what's happened to What's happened to North Melbourne? Who the walls has just came into their club? I just lost some important players. Two. I lost some important players back to their original clubs. What's going on at North Melbourne? Richmond Women's. Well, they've gone from... They've gone from having Benet Conti carry them... And Ellie McKenzie carrying their midfield to just Ellie McKenzie by herself. What's going on at Richmond? Courtney Wakefield's the only key four they got right now with Katie Brennan gone. And what the hell? What is going on at Richmond? Did they just get robbed by the Western... Did they just get robbed by the Bulldogs? I mean, look at this side. I reckon this side might finish 11th. St Kilda. Oh, man, they are much... They have got much worse. They are much, much worse. Not even that exit could save them right now. We're a 65-rated team. I reckon I'll be... Contending with, with, the, with the Gold Coast for last on the ladder. West Coast Eagles. Oh, dear. This is not looking good at all for the Eagles. They've lost some, they've lost some good players to Fremantle. Western Bulldogs. Oh, they've got some players back. Meg McDonald's back at the club. But it Conti returns to the Dogs. Katie Brennan's a Bulldog again. Jenna Bruton's back at Footscray. And McCartney's back at Footscray. I reckon the side might contend for a flag. Jamie Lambert's a Bulldog again. <laughs> this is inspired by me going back to my old home group back when I was in high school in 2012. I had spent three weeks in um, another home group. Then I moved back to my own home group because I felt it's time to go home. Let's get to competition mode. Select the teams. Full auto. Senior. Injuries and suspensions are turned on. Saving the settings. Almost. Yep, five minute quarters will do. Let's simulate for the rest of the season. Until we get up to the last game. And the Eagles are won by 44 points. Let's look at the fixtures. In round one. Oh, Collingwood. They've absolutely... They've had it, poor old Carlton. 
Western Bulldogs. Oh, they just gave St Kilda a punishment day by 66 points. Same thing up high with Gold Coast and West Coast. They got given a huge punishment by Melbourne and Adelaide. Geelong won an upset at Geelong beat North. Brisbane have beaten the Tigers. Freo have beaten the Giants. Round two. Carlton beat the Dogs in an upset. Collingwood beat the Cats. Melbourne trumped the Tigers. North beat the Saints. Brisbane beat the Suns. GWS. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. GWS. Beat the Crows. My word. How did this happen? And Fremantle beat the Eagles in round two. By 30 points. Round three. Bulldogs beat Geelong. GWS beat the Suns. Carlton beat the Saints. Melbourne beat the Roos. Dockers beat the Crows by six points. Collingwood trumped the Tigers. And Bres Brisbane had run over the top of West Coast. Round four. Saints beat Geelong in an upset. Carlton beat the Tigers. Fremantle beat the Gold Coast Suns. Collingwood have absolutely flogged North Melbourne. Brisbane win by a point against the Crows. Bulldogs win by a point against by the same margin against Melbourne. And West Coast win an upset against GWS. Round 5. Richmond beat the Cats. Giants beat the Bulldogs. Freo beat the Lions. Carlton trump the Kangas. Crows beat the Saints. Pies beat Melbourne. And Gold Coast beat West Coast. Round 6. Richmond trumped North. G GWS beat the Lions. The Crows beat the Suns. Saints win an upset against Melbourne. Geelong have smashed Carlson. Collingwood beat the Doggies. And West Coast win in an upset against Freo in the Western, Dar in Western Derby 3. Round 7. Richmond beat the Goldie. GWS beat the Saints. Bulldogs are run over the top of North. Crows beat Melbourne. Freo beat the Blues. Collingwood win an upset against Brisbane. And West Coast win at home against Geelong. Round 8. Carlton by 4 against the Suns. Giants beat the Cats by three points. St. Kilda. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. 85 point loss to Collingwood. North Melbourne have just suffered even worse. 90, nearly 100 points they lost to against Brisbane. Richmond beat the Eagles by 29 points. Crows beat the Doggies by 31 points. And Fremantle beat Melbourne by 47 points. Round 9. Richmond lose by 9 against the Dogs. Freo win, win by 17 over North. Melbourne win by 31 over the Lions. Suns win by a point against Geelong. Crows beat the Pies by 3 points. Giants beat Carlton by 41 points. And West Coast beat the Saints by 44 points. Let's look at the table. Making the finals, you got Collingwood and Fremantle occupying the top two spots. With GWS, Adelaide, Brisbane and the Western Bulldogs all contending. All playing in the elimination final. Carlton and Melbourne. This is heartbreak for them. They've missed the finals. If this was a top eight, I would have made it. It would have been all eight inaugural AFL W clubs in the finals. Collingwood and Fremantle. Have someone got the best talent of players returning home to their original clubs? Richmond. <laughs> ninth again. They are ninth again. Just like the men's, just like what the men's team have been since 1994. West Coast have finished 10th. Geelong have finished 11th. Gold Coast 12th. St Kilda 13th and. How dreadful. How dreadful are North Melbourne. Rock bottom. Rock freaking bottom. Off the AFL women's ladder. How can they finish that low? At low. What's going on at the club? Just like the men's team won the wooden spoon in 2021. They play like the men's team right now. Anyway, let's go to the fight. Let's go to GWS versus Bulldogs in the elimination final, and the Western Bulldogs. And the Bulldogs are out. What an upset by GWS. Maybe this could be the best GWS Giants women's team we've ever seen. 
Crows and Brisbane. They played each other in the grand final in real life that year. And the Crows get their revenge. Winning by 35 points against the Lions. Kicking them out of the finals. Sending the Dockers. Sending them off the Perth in a semi against Freo. Collingwood will face the Giants in the other semi. What happens? And the Magpies are through to the grand final. That means Collingwood are in the AFL Women's Grand Final for the first time. And I'll be facing the Fremantle Dockers. This is a shock. Collingwood and Fremantle in the Grand Final for AFL Women's. This will be a curtain raiser for Carlton versus Port Adelaide. Let's look at the team stats. And the winner of the AFL Women's Premiership, if everyone returned to their former club, is Collingwood. The Magpies AFL Women's are Premiers. They win by one point against the Dockers. And that will just about wrap up this video.